you. Welcome everybody to KevinandFred.com. Here's the truth of the matter. I'd really like to say thank you so much for all of your feedback that you gave us on that survey. But the reality is we're both wearing the same clothes. We so you the know. exact same way. And so you know that we filmed two of these in a row. And so rather than doing that, I Here, would just I'll say just, take, that yeah. that's awkward. Next week, I'll look forward to reading your responses. But hey, anyway, we're filming this Kevin and Fred a little bit in advance. And one of the things we've been working on, as we mentioned in last week's video, is that we're talking a lot around 2013 and creating business plans and putting yeah, things together. We're talking about that a lot. But here's the deal. It's really easy to make a business plan and put a number out there like, oh, I want to close 36 transactions this year or I want to make $200,000 in 2013. It's really easy to put those numbers out there. The more difficult part of a cr true business plan, Kevin, in my opinion anyway, is actually determining what amount of lead volume, what kind of lead generation do you need to do, how many new people do you need to talk to in 2013 to actually hit your business goals. Yeah, I, that's at the end of the day, that's what it all comes down to. You gotta have leads before you can before you have any deals. You have to have the lead. So if you've got a number of whether the number be monetary or number of transactions, like we tend to go to number of transactions because we know what the money leads to or how many how much money that leads to, mm -hmm. you have to start with how many leads do you need to get there? Correct. That, that's just it. You have to have a lead first. If you don't have a lead, you don't have a deal. If you don't have a deal, you don't have a paycheck, you don't have a paycheck. You got a new job. Well, and truly anything else is what I, you know, sometimes you laugh at me, but it's, it's airy fairy to go, I want to make 400 deals. That's airy fairy. Who cares if you want to close 400 deals? I want to close 5 billion transactions but next how many year you and make that? trillions of dollars of money. But guess what? I don't think I'm on a path yet to quite do that. And I don't even, I can't even do the zeros behind how many leads I would make. A couple years away from oh, that. A couple years away. So the thing wow. is that right now I'm working on figuring out how many leads we need to get to get to our, our goal. Yeah. And it, it really is quite the interesting exercise. And here's the deal. If you don't track your leads that well, like if you don't really actually track them that well, then do this as a general experiment. Figure out how many people are in your database currently and how many deals you did this year. And then if you want to double it, then try to just double what's in your database. Or if you know you do two hours of lead generation every day and you're consistent with it four or five days a week and you want to double, then guess what? You probably need to do about four hours of lead generation every single day. So there's different ways to do it. You can get yeah, you can get it days. down to the exact number of leads if you yeah. track stuff that well. But if that's overwhelming to you and you don't know, then at least put some sort of measurement in place to help you time block and spend your time effectively in the right place to hit the goals you want. Yeah, otherwise you're not going to know if you're on the right track until it's too late to make any sort of adjustment. Ask us how we know that. Anyway, thanks for watching Kevin and Fred. We'll see you back here next week in brand new t-shirts. Later.